This is Zac Efron, star of High School Musical, The Greatest Showman, and Baywatch. Isn't he dreamy? <sighs> okay, serious now. He's gone from teen dream to Hollywood hunk. From traveling the world to adventurous beer runs, is there anything this guy can't do? How did he get such a buff bod? And did he or did he not get plastic surgery? This is Your Body On, Zac Efron's Body Transformation. Efron started acting in 2002 and landed his first big role in Disney's High School Musical in 2006 at the age of 17. His boyish charm and impressive acting chops catapulted him into a Hollywood superstar. After a number of successful films, he had a banner year in 2017 with the release of The Greatest Showman and Baywatch. Both of these films pushed his body and mind to the limit. What does he regret about his training regimen? Why does he drink vinegar? And what happened to his jaw? Broken jaw. In 2013, Zach's life got flipped upside down. While running in his house in socks, he slipped and shattered his lower jaw on a granite fountain. Ouch! He was rushed to the hospital and required intense and careful surgery to help rebuild his face. Upon recovery, he worked with a physical therapist on rehabilitating the muscles of his face. No, it was funny, it sucked, I almost died, but we're good. Zach claims that his masseter muscles, used for chewing, had to compensate for the other weakened muscles in his jaw. This resulted in a larger and more chiseled jawline. While we cannot confirm or deny it, he has assured the media that no plastic surgery was involved. You had to recently dispel rumors that you had undergone plastic surgery. Why did you feel like you had to address those rumors? I didn't really. I don't really read the internet, so I don't really give a f But there are plenty of people trying jaw exercising products and getting similar results. Baywatch Bod. With a franchise known for its sexy lifeguards running shirtless on the beach, Zach buffed up hard for his role in the Baywatch movie. He had to put in work, lots of work, and diuretics. Normally used to treat high blood pressure, diuretics force your kidneys to excrete more sodium than usual into your urine. This can reduce your water weight and make your muscles appear more defined. To get the ultimate beach bod, Efron's workout had a three-day rotation. He'd work his back and triceps one day and his legs on the second. Day three was all about his shoulders, chest, and arms. He would also do two exercises back to back with no rest in between to burn more calories and pump more nutrient rich blood into his muscles for faster growth. In addition, he would eat the same three protein rich meals every day. In that movie, I adopted a really, really specific eating regimen clean fish or meat with sweet potatoes. Like that. And I just did that the entire film. But he wasn't getting enough sleep. Even if filming ran late into the night, he was still up training at 4 a.m. Baywatch Blues. Zach developed severe insomnia, which affected him long after production wrapped. Lack of sleep can lead to mental health disorders and an increased risk of heart disease. The actor was burnt out and feeling depressed. What is wrong with you? What do you think is wrong with me? I'm starving. It turned out that the diuretics had messed up his system. They have possible side effects that include dizziness, headaches, and joint disorders. Zach says that it took more than six months for him to feel normal again. After his body recovered, he was criticized for having a dad bod, even though he was still in far better shape than most of the dads I know. Wellness. Initially, Zach gave up his fitness habits, going cold turkey on the workouts. But doing the exact opposite to his preparations for Baywatch didn't work out either. He felt unhealthy and slow. But today, he feels that he's in a good place with a balanced diet and workout regimen that includes yoga and stretching in addition to strength training. He does foam rolling for a half hour before his daily cardio session and again for an hour before he goes to bed. Foam rolling can help reduce muscle and back pain. And for Zach's favorite part of the day, he takes an ice bath. Brr. Ice cold water can reduce inflammation and soreness, but steer clear of it if you have high blood pressure or cardiovascular disease. Oh diet. Zach tried a vegan diet for a couple of years, but found it left him low on energy. My body wasn't processing the, the vegetables in the right way, so I decided to, to stop it and try something new. He now eats two protein-rich meals a day and drinks apple cider vinegar before most meals. The vinegar is an antioxidant that can help with lower weight, cholesterol, and blood sugar levels. It can also make you feel fuller and help you eat less. 
He's also taken up intermittent fasting, which can reduce inflammation and balance oxidation in your body. I guess the philosophy around my current diet is intermittent fasting mixed with getting enough nutrition to sort of sustain me throughout the day. He has said that he would never put himself through the stress of his Baywatch regimen ever again. That. Oh, whoa. Uh, I got very big and buff for that movie, but yeah. I don't want people to think that's the best way to be. Like but That doesn't mean he won't bulk up. Here's how he looks now while making his next film, The Iron Claw. It definitely looks like his routine is working for him. If you're looking to tone up like Zach does, maybe fasting might work for you too. But make sure you do your research first. We'll give intermittent fasting a go on another episode of Your Body On.